guys, welcome back to the Grow Operation. It's Simon here. I'm going to talk about how to start seedlings directly into your aquaponics unit today. So just to start off, the reason I use this method is because it's basically free, it's almost free, um, and I think it works just as well as anything else. Now my system is continual flow, which means that it's always got uh, it's always got a, a water level, you know, at a at a specific height and never sort of drains. I don't use a, a, a bell siphon or anything like that. So that's first thing you sort of need to know with, with my uh, method. Uh, and uh, yeah, it sort of keeps it very consistent. So the water's say always sitting around here or whatever. So basically I get a an eight, eight uh, plant uh, seedling tray really really cheap I cut it I get a skewer just a metal skewer I put it through and I put it through I make sure I put it fairly low so that there's always some sort of water going going through going through there and just stick that in and do another one up here so we've got a higher water level so yeah yep yeah. so now we've got two holes in this and that'll let the water flow in sometimes I might put one on this side as well uh, but I find that those two holes uh, basically they're enough to, to let most of the effort, the water flow through I take that I fill it with medium I'll get say a little bit of cotton or now I use I use my uh, I use just uh, little cotton pads that we've got around the house um, sometimes a little bit worried if uh, just in case some of those cotton tips will have like antibacterial or anti antiseptic uh, sort of things on them because they'll They'll stop the the seed from germinating, and it you know would sort of be counterproductive. So make sure just have a smell, you know. If it smells like it's got some sort of cleaning product on it, don't use it. But if you can't smell anything, great. Yep. So there we go. Just a little bit of cotton. I place that in the center here. What I'll do is I'll put say a seed on there. I'll get it wet and I'll just place it right in the middle of the medium. Then what I'll do is I'll cover it over with some more grow medium and uh, make sure you get this wet when you do put seeds in it because uh, it, it sort of won't get, uh, you're wanting the water to wick up through the medium but before but while that's waiting, just get the medium, the, the cotton wet, and that should be enough. And uh, sometimes what I'll also do is if you've got a spare one of these around, it is just a, a top to a glass house. I'll just go, see, you can see where I've sort of done it before. I've gone boom, 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 boom. And I'll just put that on walk away for two weeks check it obviously and uh, then it usually does grow go through there here are some that are a little bit further along these ones are about two weeks uh, old or so now if you take a look what will happen I'll just bring this up now don't don't pull your plants down and put them back in like I just did then because it's really bad for them and you won't you won't sort of have much success but on saying that uh, it's always good I find to have at least one that you you can sort of pull out and have a look at the roots and see what's happening so I wouldn't do this to all of them but while you're sort of learning and, and going through, you, you you can pull out one or two and have a look at them. Just don't expect much from those plants. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I've had a real fun time in the afternoon sun making this video. Uh, look, if you want to see more videos about urban farming or the future of uh, food technology, uh, please hit subscribe. 
And uh, yeah, as always, grow harder.